Hey Doggies fans, Sam Milne here and welcome to a new segment for 2018 called Milne's Mind. Now our first episode is going to focus on our skipper, Trent Woodrum, in the lead up to his 200th game this weekend. We're going to go through and interview a few players, officials and coaching staff to find out a few of their most memorable memories of Trent throughout his time with Dogs. So let's go and see what they have to say. Righto Doggies fans, we'll just come in here and see our head trainer Dan Bell and find out what his most memorable moment of Trent is. What's your most memorable moment of uh, Trent throughout his time? It would probably, uh, it would have to be the moment he introduced me to Delta. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I love it, love it. No other memories, that's one no, that stands no, out. That's the one that stands out for me. <laughs> we'll take that one. Jenna, from one fossil to another, what's your best memory of Trent from your time with the dogs? Uh, my best memory would have to be one day back in 2009. We were playing West Adelaide, it was middle of winter, it was raining. I think we were down by about six goals in the last quarter. And Trent slid into for a footy and he ran into the back of James Gowans' head. Managed to split him open, he needed about six stitches, but while that was happening, he's picked the ball up. James has turned around and looked to see who it was, and he's seen it was Goody. He's got the ball and he's thrown it straight at Goody's head. <laughs> and he's managed to give a free kick away to the opposition in the process. <laughs> How's that work? Oh, he's, to this day, we still don't know how <laughs> West Adelaide got the free kick, but it was probably for not giving the ball back to the umpire properly because James sort of put his head. Oh. But that was probably one of the funniest moments of seeing Trent involved in his yeah. entire time here. Uh, very good, very good. And I'm here with Luke Barbie and Luke Harville, two experienced campaigners who've played a lot of footy with uh, Trent. Now, boys, what's your best memory of Trent in his time with the dogs? Oh, it's probably hard to put it on one memory. Um, Goody and I every summer sort of rock up and uh, he's normally the president of Fat Club. Um, I'm normally the vice president. Um, he may have got me this year, but I reckon I've had him for the last four or five years. But uh, there's many stories of Trent, probably none that can be done in front of the camera, but um, yeah, he's always been a good tackler. He's always been a good second of the footy. Um, <laughs> but uh, no, he gives it his all game day and we know we're going to get it. He's, uh, yeah, well done Trent, well done you mate. Thanks, Luke. Uh, Trent was the first one to pick me up from the airport in his flashy BMW. Uh, I reckon he's the only 200 game player in the SNFL that can't kick a drop punt. Um, and he's been in kicking group for the last 11 or 12 years with the tennis ball with Roy. But as Baum said, really good leader, speaks really well, and uh, yeah, probably his biggest attribute is his tackling and, and his leadership. Thanks, well boys. Done. I'm here with Roy Laird. Now, Roy, in the lead up to Trent's 200th game, what's your best memory of him? Oh, look, a lot of good moments. So I think, I'm trying to recall, I reckon in his first final series, we played Sturt in a final at Adelaide Oval. And at a time when we were battling at a prominent period in the third quarter in that game, um, where we were overcome from behind and didn't get up and have a win. But then he went into his first grand final against Glenelg, I reckon 2008, I think was good, his first grand final. Yep. Um, and in the Premiership quarter, big game. Uh, I reckon it was close to level at half time. He came out and had some key moments in the third quarter. Uh, Goody had always had speed, but kept banging on about using his speed. And he did it out in the outer wing at one point, and got an important kick into 50 that I reckon he scored from. And then minutes later in that third quarter, he kicked a valuable goal at the top of the square um, and showed the youthful exuberance that we all love to see in young blokes, celebrate a lot there was no tomorrow, um, and got us on the run. You know, we kicked. Uh, well away in that third quarter. So for a young bloke in his first grand final in the Premiership quarter, he had a big part to play. Beautiful. Well, there we have it, Doggies fans. Plenty of good stories being told about an inspirational skipper. So on behalf of all the playing group, Trent, good luck in your 200th game this weekend. You've been an inspirational captain for many years and played 199 great games. So all the best this weekend and good luck. Go you dogs.